an eye out for a couple rain chances as we go throughout the overnight hours. For the most part, though, a lot of us will end up staying dry. There's a better chance for a little rain into tomorrow morning. So a couple areas of showers that we're watching as of tonight and then get ready for the heat again. It will be near 100 with the heat index, not only tomorrow, but for the next couple days. This muggy stretch of weather does wind down though after this week, so some cooler conditions are just around the corner. First up though on exact track, we are keeping an eye on these showers kind of fizzling out, drying out as they work their way in from Iowa. So likely a lot of us are going to stay dry tonight. There are a couple spots like around Galena though that'll get a decent amount of rainfall. Uh, in fact, we're keeping a close eye on the possibility for flash flooding in Joe Davies as well as Carroll counties. For now looking good, but more heavy rainfall possible later tomorrow uh, tonight into early tomorrow morning, which is why that watch is out just in case we see some flooding rainfall. Of course, make sure you avoid any kind of flooded roads. If we do see any kind of flash flooding rest of the state line, that's not likely, which is why the watch is not out for the remainder of us. As you look at future track, the showers that we have now fizzle out pretty quickly after midnight, so we won't see them hanging around for too long. And then there's another complex of thunderstorms that brews up over Minnesota. That'll approach us heading towards uh, early tomorrow morning. Here we are a little closer to sunrise and you can see this line of storms arriving. However, it fizzles out. It dries out by the time it gets to us. So we might get a, a little rainfall early in the morning, uh, but not expecting much for severe activity, thunderstorm activity, as we're expecting to see this complex of storms fall apart as it arrives. Be ready for a couple of rumbles of thunder just in case early remainder of the day looking fairly dry and quiet. Uh, so for tonight, mostly cloudy, may get a storm right around sunrise, 72 for the overnight low, and then it's back into the heat again after that chance for rain in the morning. Uh, expecting to see fairly dry conditions throughout the remainder of the day. Definitely heating up highs in the low 90s, but feeling like 100 with that humidity and we'll have that kind of heat going into the weekend as well. So be ready for some stuffy conditions going into tomorrow evening. If you're going out to the Friday night football games, low 80s, but still feels like the 90s for a while. So drink plenty of water. Have that handy as we go throughout our Friday and any festivities that you've got planned into the weekend. Still feeling like 100 on Saturday, but then we start to cool off on Sunday ahead of a big cool down coming as we go into early next week. The forecast overall has lots of sunshine for Saturday and a chance for storms going into Sunday evening. Uh, that's ahead of the cold front, so be ready for that. Uh, start to adjust your plans if necessary for that chance for rain. After another couple of hot and humid days, we see temperatures down into the low 80s going into next week. A lot closer to average. We get rid of the humidity, looking fairly comfortable as we wind down August and headed to September. In your most accurate 10 day forecast, we do have the holiday on the way, uh, holiday weekend in sight for Saturday and Sunday. That could bring us down into the 70s. So just in time for Labor Day weekend, we are looking at another cool down. Overall, though, we still have the heat for now. Uh, so the forecast for today, 89. Got managed to get the bullseye as of this afternoon, and we're expecting to hopefully stay on target again tomorrow. 91 in the forecast, William. Definitely a toasty one coming up here for the Friday night football kickoff, but coming down a little bit, appreciating seeing those 70s.